Hey guys, John here. Today I want to show you my largest organ in Harmless. It's large to me, so let's get into this patch here. So we're going to be using this harmonic mask. So this mix knob is going to be at 100%. And we're going to be using 1, 2, 3, and 4, cutting 5, adding 6, cutting 7, adding 8, cutting 9, adding 10, cutting 11, and 12. So this part is very important to get this right. So I would suggest to use this exact slider setting here. And also, if you don't want to go into this recreation, you can download the patch free in the video description below if you want to bypass all of this stuff. So moving on here. We're going to have our release kind of at about maybe 128 milliseconds, a little bit of attack, and the decay is going to be all the way up. We're also using this tremolo here. So let's turn off the cathedral reverb and then the classic reverb. And also on our channel here, let's disable our quick EQ here. So with this tremolo knob, it's very, very, very important to add this here. So it's at 47% here. So if we turn this all the way down, it's kind of, it's close, but it's not really right. Let's also turn off our harmonizer. So our tremolo maybe about right there or so because you see these meters bouncing here at the bottom right. We want that motion between the left right moving that gives that type of organ type of effect. Our waveform is going to be triple saw and then this phase is going to be all the way to the left here. So for the filter envelope, the amount's going to be 16%. Decay is at the center at 50%. And then the attack is going to be at zero. I didn't change any of these curve settings either. Our EQ here for our, our frequency cutoff here is going to be at about 43%. We're going to be using classic low pass with the width at about center. You might be wondering, okay, how do we get that organ sound? It sounds very, very cut off. Like a lot of the highs are cut away. And the reason because of that is we want to get this first core sound first, this type of harmonic structure, cut a lot of the tops off, and then add that back in with the harmonizer, which is a very important feature here. So we're going to be skipping over unison. We're not going to be using unison or phaser, but we are going to be using this harmonizer at octave up, and then it's going to be on final. The width is going to be quite high at 84%, and then the strength is at 50%. And as we increase this, we can notice that difference. So maybe that's kind of where we want to be at, maybe 73, low 70, somewhere around there. And there's going to be no LFO movement here, so we can leave that alone as well. It's kind of a simple patch. Now this core is pretty much done. Now we need to put it in a room. So in Harmless, we have this very convenient cathedral preset, and this I kind of brought up a little bit more to 57% because default is going to be at 50. So if we think of this in the building this sound, we want that harmonic mask up here to create that type of sequence of harmonics. We want to cut off most of the higher end stuff because we want to add it in later with this harmonizer. That's going to be the core spot of it. And then the cathedral reverb is really going to sell it. And then a little bit of delay never hurts. So that's the main core here. Now, when I listened back to this, there was kind of a low end mud to there that I didn't really like. And I kind of felt that the highs could have been pushed a little bit, which in this EQ here is what I kind of did. I cut some of those lows off. The low end itself is kind of nice. The the good the good low end, I, I would say. So I kind of left that alone and then brought down this here at like 139 Hertz quite substantially and then brought up some of the highs. So here's with no EQ and then with EQ. So it does sound kind of thin with the EQ on, and that's because there's going to be the drums in there. There's going to be the bass that comes in here because the bass comes in right around here. So it kind of fills everything up with the kick drum and some other stuff as well. So once everything's added together, then it kind of fits in a little bit better. So this is what it would sound like completed. And if I were to start it here, when everything comes in and I had the EQ off, it would sound like this. 
it's there we can hear it but it's almost cluttered and muddy especially once there's a lot of reverb the cathedral is a huge reverb and there's a lot of decay to it so you really want to cut out those low end that low end stuff because it's really going to build up over time and just clutter the entire sound And like I said before, this preset is free, so if you'd like to get your hands on my largest organ, you can. Okay.